Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be diving deep into how I am going to reconstruct my leather jacket for my Halloween costume. All right, I am going to insert a picture right here of the Halloween costume that I'm actually gonna do. Um, so I'm just trying to go go with the whole Corella theme that she had the leather jacket on with the leather pants. And I just got some plain leather pants, not the ones with the gold jewels all over because I couldn't find anything like it. So I'm just going to focus on the jacket today, you guys. I have all of my supplies right here that I'm going to be using to reconstruct my jacket for this costume. So yes, you guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to this video, and let's get into it. So yeah, so it totally looks kind of like a biker gang type of vibe. And I'm thinking about either painting over some of the patches or removing some of the patches and making it be like Dalmatian print on the jacket. I'm also going to paint these jewels gold. I'm gonna paint the zipper gold. I'm gonna paint both of the zippers gold on the pockets as well. And yep, the jewels on the back, I'm gonna paint them gold. So we're gonna see how that turns out. What are y'all thinking about the girl gang on the back? Because I got this jacket from Halloween City and it was like an outfit, a, it was for a costume for like a girl biker gang or something. So should I like leave the girl gang and then make the white part of the letters be Dalmatian? Comment down below what you guys think, any tips, tricks, on reconstructing leather jackets or anything, but yes, yes, I'm scared. So you guys, I've never really like spray painted and I just read on the directions that I'm supposed to do it outside. So I'm moving my newspaper to this section outdoors. I mean, I'm just doing the sleeves, so like I'm gonna just do it right here. And let me show you guys how it's looking so far. I mean, I got one sleeve done, but like, I'm scared. Does it look kind of crazy? I got both of the sleeves like halfway painted white and like the cap is still clogged so like leave some comments down below y'all of any tips or tricks of how to unclog a spray pan cap like I um YouTube did but like it wasn't given with I mean in an artistic sense this looks kind of cool <laughs> but like I don't know all right you guys so Ooh, I need me an art studio because the kitchen is not gonna cut it. Paint, the white paint that I got is like a pearl white. 
it's not a white white like the spray pants. So this is gonna be like, this white is different. You can see, see it's like different. Is there anything? Oh, here's a matte white that I can use. Let me try this. Goodness gracious. I haven't done art in so long, so like, I'm hella rusty on all of this type of stuff. Oh, so, so, so rusty. Let's see how this is looking. Oh y'all, this is better. This one is better, but like, all right, that's better. This white is way better, but this is like acrylic paint. So like this jacket is not gonna be able to be like a jacket where I could just throw in the washer. So that's that. So I'm just gonna keep paint, paint, painting this sleeve, you guys. And I'm going to, I'm gonna hit you guys up when I'm done with both sleeves and they're both white. Currently trying to get everything gold, the zipper and the stuff gold. It's really not giving what it's supposed to be giving, but I'm doing my best. The rhinestones, I've tried to do gold here, but like, they're like, you could tell it's like painted, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll tell what's going so far. I don't, and then I got paint on the jacket, on the black part, so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do to that. Got the sleeves done white. Messed up right there. I don't know what I'm gonna do right there. And then just gotta be at the spots. I'm gonna let this dry first. I'm gonna do the spots. So, yes, this is what we got so far. Like I'm pretty much just gonna go across the whole thing with the black. Spot, circular, and then like ovalish. Like the Corolla idea was like a really good idea for me because I'm into like fashion, and then how the movie was like portrayed, like she was into design and fashion as well. So, like, I thought art i love art and fashion together so this will be perfect for my channel content so yes you guys it's coming along it's not like how i really wanted it to be because i like spilled like white paint on certain spots and then the white is a little bit patchy but overall i mean i feel like it's gonna give what it's supposed to be given like when i'm done <sighs> guys so I just like sent Celeste a picture of this. I was like, what print do you think of when you first see this? She's like, cow print, fuck. <laughs> so it's giving a cow print, you guys. It's giving very much cow print. And so like you first look at this jacket. What do you think? Cow print. When I put my makeup on, the wig and everything, you're gonna know what I am. So. I'm just gonna keep on working on it. I am back again with kind of pretty much the final look. I was able to paint all of the little jewels gold. So that looks like pretty good. And then I got these painted gold. I got, a, got the zipper painted gold. I added these paws here and I did like a gold trim around the paws. This rose was already here and this is how the spots turned out. And like the sleeves, I don't know. 
they turned out okay but like could have been better i wanted to take off the girl gang and put something more curl to the village but i just left it did the back gold and then the back of the sleeve i just left with that spray painted look because it looked kind of like cool so that's how that's looking um overall this is my first time doing wearable art so i think i did okay but could have been better but yes you guys oh yeah and then i added a motorcycle down here i mean kind of messy but for a halloween costume i did okay so yes this is how the jacket turned out you guys go to the video above and check out my makeup and the entire look thanks for watching yeah.